The first tool on our list is none other than Kyber AI. How I got this particular video to be is I started within Mid Journey. Within Mid Journey, I had used the prompt, a backdrop of 1980s Miami, aspect ratio 16 by nine. I had put the prompt 1980s Miami, turning into a futuristic Miami in the year 2050, in the style of Denis Villeneuve. Now Denis Villeneuve directed Blade Runner 2049, so I wanted his kinds of tones, color tones and palettes, if you will, in this particular image. And I think it's done a pretty good job. And these are what others have done as well, which is quite fascinating. See the different styles that are available. Wow. And then if we want to actually upload an image, we have to simply go to create video and then we can begin with an initial image transform an existing video or add your song or audio file what i like to do is i like to start within mid journey and then create something which is what i've done and continue to prompt and then you can select here the video duration you want even up to eight minutes which is unbelievable so anywhere from three seconds to eight minutes you can have zoom in zoom out so zoom in is like that, zoom out of course is like that, rotate clockwise, rotates like that, uh, counterclockwise, up, down, left, right, and evolve, lower equals more stable and higher is more wild. Evolve is basically similar to chaos in mid journey, so the more chaos you have, the more it will go crazy with its revolutions and its creativity in general. So lower the evolve, the less times the image will change. So I'm going to keep it somewhere in between 10 to 5 I think that's good and I'm going to set it to let's say 6 seconds let's do it and then it's come back with four different styles that I can use as the basis to go ahead and create the video with so this style this style this style and this style I think the fourth one closely resembles the original image as much as possible so I'm going to go with that and I'm going to hit create video. Wow. Unbelievable. Now let's continue and do Tony Montana, the thumbnail that you clicked on. So let's go back, create video, begin with an initial image. This one, a man aging and becoming poor in the style of Pixar, right? <laughs> this will be quite fascinating. That. And let's do a little bit longer this time because we want to see the story unfold a bit more. So 12 seconds and let's do more evolutions this time. So 10, let's see what happens. So it's come back with these four preview frames. It's quite funny. First, the second, third, fourth. I think the fourth is the most realistic. Yeah, I think it's tried to in the third incorporate some glasses but they're not really distinguishable from his eyelids it's almost like they're a part of his eyelids it's really strange the second one hmm i, I don't know what is that <laughs> yeah yeah the fourth one i think seems the most realistic to me so let's create a video with that and in case you're wondering here is the prompt that i used to get that tony montana image I will include this in the description down below. And this is what it's come back with. Wow. It really like evolves quite a lot. Yeah, because I did put it to the maximum evolutions of 10. So there's so many changes. It's not minimal, it's quite maximal actually. So yeah, that's that. Now we're gonna move on to our next tool, which is layer picks. So bring your images to life, Layerpix Converter lets you turn any of your favorite images into stunning depth animations. Click upload or drag and drop an image here to start, so let's do that. And you can see that he's moving and what's amazing is you can adjust the length so it really slows down. You can change it in terms of style, so if you want it to go around in a wide circle, horizontal, so it should be like side to side, circle, it's all symmetrical as a circle, tool circle, vertical, perspective. So that's animation style. Then you can do amount of motion, you can speed it up or slow it down, doing less, that's really slow. 
Then you've got focus point. You can do like far. Center. Close. And you can get really, really granular with just the animation length. So there's that. Now let's try another image. Let's go back to the Tony Montana. If we do far, then it looks a little bit more reasonable. Amount of motion, we can do more. And then I like to just like tamper with the animation style. So what looks the most realistic here? It's probably vertical because it's a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So that's probably the best for that particular style. And focus point, I'd say it should be center rather than right. And yeah, there you have it. That's layer picks. Now our next tool is gonna be Hagen. On the homepage, you get various different options to either upload your own photo or choose from any of these avatars that they have listed here. So I'm gonna pick Tony Montana, you know, from Scarface. It's all good. And we're gonna create a video with him. So let's say, I'm Tony Montana, man. I'm Tony Montana, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. So let's see. Submit. And then it will show you all of your particular videos here. And then whatever video is you know ready, it will appear. So I created one yesterday, but it wasn't that good. So let's see what this one does here. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> So that voice I added in myself, of course, and um, yeah, did a pretty good job. What do you think of my accent? Let me know. I think it's terrible personally, but I don't know. It'll be cool to get your opinion, just for laughs. So that's that, my Cuban, terrible Cuban accent. That's it. I've been Vey, and thanks for watching.